Hi everybody, Mike Hoffman here, and in today's tip we're going to be looking at locating different types of files within Lightroom 5. One of my students asked me recently how he could go about finding all of the videos within a group of folders in Lightroom, and that's one of the things we're going to look at today. In this example, I've selected a folder within my Lightroom catalog that contains multiple subfolders. And in order to make sure I'm seeing all the photos in all the subfolders, I'm going to want to make sure that I go to the library selection of the menu and enable show photos in subfolders. Now when I click on any one of these top level folders, I'll see all the subfolders and all the photos in those subfolders in one view. Now how to find those video files. Here I've got 141 photos and videos scattered across multiple folders, but with the top level selected, I can look up here in the filter bar. Now if you don't see the filter bar in your Lightroom catalog, you'll want to press the backslash key. This toggles the filter bar off and on. So simply the backslash key, and when you see the filter bar, we're going to want to select the attribute section here. This brings up the attribute filters, and we can sort all the items that have a flag, or all the items that have stars, and so forth. But if you look way over here to the right, there's a small section labeled Kind. And if we hover over these icons, we can see that we have three kinds, Master Photos, Virtual Copies, and Videos. So locating all the videos in this set of folders is a simple as toggling this selection on. And here we can see three videos. We can choose these other kinds to see other types. For example, I can locate all my virtual copies by toggling this one in the center. Notice that these are additive, so I can enable more than one at a time. And now I'm looking at all my virtual copies plus all my videos. I can click them again to toggle them off, and we're back to the full view. Now you may want to locate more than just your videos. For example, I've got a variety of files in these folders that includes JPEGs, TIFFs, videos, and even some Photoshop documents. If I wanted to filter out just one specific type or more than one of those types of files, instead of using the attribute filter, I'd go to the metadata filter. When you click the metadata filter, you have four columns worth of different types of metadata that you can use to filter out your selections. We have date, camera, lens, and label as the defaults, but these may not be the types of metadata that you want to filter on. There's no need to worry if you hover over any one of these labels. Notice the double up and down arrow that appears. If you click this, you'll get a list of all the types of metadata that you can filter by. And in this case, I want to choose file type. Now I can see 126 file types, and in order to zero in on any one of these, I can simply select it from the list. For example, here's one Photoshop document. If I click on Video, I can see my three videos, just as we saw earlier. If I hold the Control or the Command key down, I can select more than one of these at a time. So I can choose to have all the Photoshop documents plus all the TIFFs, plus all the videos. And to see them all and disable this filter, I simply choose All at the top of the list. Now I'll give you one final bonus tip for dealing with a mystery that many people encounter and don't understand. Here we can see in the metadata filter bar a total of 126 images listed. But if we look in the Folders panel, the Folders panel indicates that we have 141 images. Now why would that be? The answer is that some of these images are in stacks. When we create virtual copies and when we edit in Photoshop and other editors, oftentimes we'll create stacks, or you may create stacks yourselves to organize your photos. And stacks are indicated by an icon in the upper left corner of the thumbnail that tells you that there's a stack. Now this stack is collapsed. If I expand it, we can see that it includes four photographs. And when we do the number changes here, we now have 129 images to be filtered. If I collapse the stack, 
we're back to 126. So if we want to search all 141 images in this set of subfolders, we need to expand all the stacks, and that's easily done by choosing Photo from the menu, and then going to Stacking, and Expand All Stacks. Once we do that, we can see that the full 141 photos are available for filtering here, and this number ties off with the number in the Folders panel. When you're through searching for images, you can go back to the Photo menu, and under Stacking, you can choose Collapse All Stacks, and leave your folders tidy for the next time around. So remember these three tips. Under Attribute, be sure to make use of the Kind filter to see your videos or your virtual copies. Under Metadata, remember that you can change the column heading to select a variety of different types of metadata to filter by. And finally, remember to expand all your stacks so that you're seeing the full set of images in the grid and your filters will then locate every possible image. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy today's tip.